Hi there, this is Ankit back again with another video. So first of all, welcome all of you in my channel KN Technology. So without wasting our time, let us start our today's session. So in the last video, I was completed my printing of ticket for the corresponding passenger. So from this video onwards, we will work on cancellation of ticket through the cancellation.php file. So follow me in the sublime text editor from line number one. First of all, if any users who did not log in himself cannot uh, enter into this cancellation.php file, so he need to log in first. For this, we will providing some functionality that is a store under session variable in the email index which means that if the users is already logged in into this website then their email will be stored in this session variable into the email index okay and if this whole condition is set then the corresponding user will be retained on this page otherwise he will be redirected to the login page as followed by the location attribute so this is the meaning of this lines of code from 2 to 7 and before this we are going to start a session session to start sorry this method means that we are going to start a session that if an user logged himself then from that login time the session will be started and uh, it will be started till he logged out Now coming to the navigation bar here from line number 50 uh, create an opening of PHP tag opening of PHP tag followed by code closing of PHP tag and then we will have if it's set dollar underscore session followed by the index email if it is so then we will store the email coming from session variable to our php variable email and that will be implemented using session variable with the index email Okay. And now if it is so if the user has already logged in or if the session variable is already set with the email then we will have closing of PHP tag and then opening of li tag with the class attribute having the value nav item drop down inside we will have anchor tag with the class attribute nav link drop down toggle and text light and inside that anchor tag we will have content which will be fetched from the php echo statement uh, which contains a string quoted inside double inverted comma and uh, concatenated by dot operator with the email variable so that's all
Uh, we are using here li tag inside a navigation bar to create a separate navigation element to show the corresponding user email on the navigation bar like this as you can see on the screen okay so this is it now after this closing of anchor tag uh, we will have an another dive tag with the class attribute with the value drop down item no no here it should be menu inside a dive tag we will have form tag inside a form tag we will have method attribute with the value post so that we can post this form and inside form tag we will have button tag with the class drop down menu here sorry item here because uh, inside the menu we will have item so drop down menus inside which we will have drop down item okay after that um, button tag there will be name attribute with the name value log out and the content will be log out this is the personality so that user can log out himself from this website this page okay this is it okay if it is not so that is if this system variable is not set or user is not logging himself then we will have different navigation bar and that will be available inside is statement here okay and here the statement will be uh, after the closing of php tag and opening of php tag and in between the php tag we will have li tag with the class attribute nav item drop down uh, we will have anchor tag with the class attribute with the value nav link and drop down to well another one is text light and the content will be image tag so first of all let me close this tag okay content will be ing tag with the src attribute having the value as a images as the name of the folder followed by the forward slash and then the name of image that is my account dot png okay and class will be sorry class class will be mm, navbar image It is the CSS custom class, not a bootstrap class. Okay, after this, um, okay, I think I missed one attribute drop down toggle. Drop down toggle, and that is sorry data toggle i think it is not the run toggle is data toggle and the value will be drop down
okay after closing of anchor tag we will have another dive tag with the class attribute drop down item no i think the drop down menu because we will providing two different item inside this dive tag so it should be drop down menu after that we will have anchor tag as same as the previous one with the class attribute drop down item and the content will be sign up sign in sign up space sign in mm, okay the content will be okay content will be sign up sign in that's i have completed now save this and see the changes so there is an error coming in our page Okay, here is okay. I need to remove this first. It's, it's, it's extra, I think. That's why it is visible on the screen as well. Okay. Okay, we will solve this error in the next video because time is already up to the mark. So we will see you in this next video. So stay tuned with us. Thank you.